uh, oh, but there was another one that you don't have that, uh, on your site that I didn't know if you would have mm. or help me figure out. Um, so I'm working on my triads. I definitely, um, it's, you know what, that's one way you can really do a second guitar part with people. And, you know, even though I don't know how to do a lead at all, I could do triads, and that's really kind of a cool thing. Sure. So I was really trying to get really good at that. So I've been working a lot on that. But anyway, I like this song, but you don't actually have that one. Yeah. And I, I never think of it as a guitar song. It um, doesn't sound like a guitar song. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I thought, I'll just let you listen. If it's not, we don't care. Yeah. You know, yeah, whether, but, we, yeah, whether we can make a good version of it or not, is, it's possible. It's a know? great song. And then, of course, I had you do have that one, She's Always a Woman, and I got that out. But yeah. I never think of Billy Joel, even though he's got a lot of good songs. It depends, but because the um, we really have to play that bass part. Yeah. But but we can do it in the um, can we do it on regular guitar of a chord? Sure. Yeah, yeah. But we're, but we're going to be strumming chords at the same time. Right. Okay. So you got to hit a bass note with every. Uh, so it's a pinch on everything. Oh, so yeah. that's what the bass did. something like that. Yeah. Okay? See, that is a good song. Well, it'll work, I mean, I think. We'll have to go a little bit further. But see, what the my first um, thought on this is, and this whole album, this is an innocent man, right? Yeah. Um, the whole album had this kind of 50s sound. Yeah. Um, so grab your guitar. I think what we'll do is we'll just turn this into, and put your capo up at the, the third. Um, we'll turn it into a kind of a fast finger picking song. So you can see what I was doing down here. Yeah. Um, so, uh, right, keep a steady alternating bass going like that. Right. Random. Yeah. So I'm, you could put in some big pinches. Like like on the first beat play the whole play play all your fingers. Yeah. And then you really just need like one finger. Yeah, something like that. So you can have less fingers in there because this is going so fast. It, yeah, yeah. And so you always want to hit everything on the next chord. Be, uh, uh, the chords are going to change quick in a, in a few spots. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. But in the very beginning, we hear this. Once again, I'm kind of um, following the bass more yeah. than anything else. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so what what I hear here at the beginning, that happens later. So that oh. that's that's when he starts singing. Okay. Oh, okay. At the intro, what I heard in the bass was this. See if you can find these notes. Listen, listen to four notes. Yeah. No, I so. love it. Oh, good. So you'll do a lesson on it, but I'll, I'll go ahead. This is kind of right up my alley. Don't think twice, it's all right. Now it's starting to sound like a Bob Dylan song. <laughs> That's okay, we like Bob Dylan. 